Today I got a tip for husky hunters. If you're a husky hunter like me, you probably sweat a lot. And you know, maybe you're not a husky hunter and you're just you're just real sweaty. But I don't know very many skinny gym rats that sweat a bunch going up moderately steep hills in a short period of time. So a big issue that I ran into when I started western hunting, especially in the later part of the season, cold conditions like today, is I'd hike up the hill where too many layers and I'd get up to the top and I'd have multiple layers that are saturated and I'm up on top of a mountain, it's windy and I'm freezing and it's hard for me to stay up there for a while. You know, you stay up there longer, you see more game and you wind up having better success most of the time. When it comes down to, especially for a sweaty person, warmth is moisture management. And the way you manage that moisture is with your layering system. The basics are three layers, a base layer, insulation layer, and an outer layer. We're gonna focus on the base layer and the insulation layer. So today I'm gonna run you kind of through the system that I've found works for me. Uh, and it's really geared towards somebody who perspires a lot. All right, so here's how it works. All right. You got to the truck. Um, kind of thinking about, do I want to put on another piece of insulation? No, you dummy. You're a big sweaty dude. Don't put on more layers and make yourself hotter on the way up. You're just going to wind up saturating those layers. And when you get to the top, it's going to be a lot harder in the second process to get that perspiration out of your garment. What I'm wearing right now is a core heavyweight hoodie. It's a synthetic hoodie. I like synthetic because it breathes really well and it dries really quickly. I wear this on the way up, whether it's 15 degrees, 30 degrees, it's got to be really cold for me to change this. The idea behind it is that it's warm enough to get you up the hill and while you're exerting yourself, you're, you're making plenty of heat to keep yourself warm. Um, but I'll wear this to the top and once we get to the top, uh, just kind of chill out for a moment and then here's the second part. Boom. Insulation piece, second part of the system, pretty crucial, is a heavy duty insulation piece. And what I like to do is once I get to the top, that layer that I was wearing is gonna nine times out of 10 be drenched in sweat. Throw on this sucker, it's gonna bake all that sweat and moisture out. And it's gonna you know, work its way out through this jacket and you're gonna be super warm underneath during the time being. It's basically an oven in there, it's baking the heat, the sweat out, uh, removing that moisture off your skin, through the layers, and out into the environment. So the big takeaways are, if you're big and sweaty, don't over layer at the truck. Make sure when you get out of the car, you're feeling a little bit chilled. And then once you start hiking, you're gonna heat up, get to the top, my clothes are gonna be saturated with sweat, uh, throw on this insulation piece, bake the sweat out, pretty simple system, less layers, and it works really well. One thing I will do is add an additional outer layer as conditions warrant, such as snow or rain. Usually it's just a rain jacket. If you're a big sweaty hunter, I hope you take this tip with you into the woods this fall. I hope you shoot a big elk, and thanks for watching.